Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. In this video, I'm going to show you some Canva shortcuts and tips that you should be using uh, in order to get your work uh, productivity uh, to the next level. Uh, by the end of this video, you will be able to use these shortcuts and tips from Canva and get your work done uh, as quick as you want. If you are new here, my name is Steve from stevenjoncy.com. I create two videos a week, one video for personal development like this one, and the other video is usually about health and nutrition. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that we can get notified every time I post a new video. If you don't have Canva yet, you can sign up for free. It's all free. No hidden agendas, no hidden fees. It's just free and you'll be able to do well, what uh, we are doing today. So I'm going to go into uh, the uh, home page of Canva. This is where you will end up uh, when, uh, once you've uh, uh, signed up. Uh, you'll be on this page where you'll have options to do so many other things. So I will go to uh, the template that I've prepared so I can show you all these shortcuts and the uh, tips that you should be using. If you want to know more about Canva, um, I have a video. I'll link it up here. I'll put a card up here uh, so that you can know more about Canva. It's called Canva for Beginners. And also I've done a video in the past as well. Uh, that video is called uh, Canva Tips and Tricks, uh, but Canva is evolving all the time. So that's why today I'm doing this one because they've added some new other features that I thought you would be interested to know. Alrighty guys, let's get into it right now. So this is the template that I'll be using to show you some of the things that I think you should know to speed up your work. So the first uh, shortcut is to add a rectangle into your uh, canvas. So we've got a canvas here and I'm going to add a rectangle onto it. Uh, what you do is to just click on your keyboard, just hit the R or click on R and then the rectangle will appear on this on your canvas. As you can see, I'll change the color so you can uh, see a little bit uh, uh, more let's see as you can see here uh, maybe let's put a different color okay as you can see you've got a rectangle if i click outside it you can see it's a rectangle there and what you can do with this rectangle you can move it down or up or resize it the way you want it and you can even then make it into into a square or, or something like that uh, or a smaller rectangle and then move it to wherever you want and then you can i'll click there again and uh, click another r so i can create another one so that you can see I'll resize that as well so you just hit onto the r and then uh, then you just um, uh, resize it how you want it so that's the first tip uh, that uh, you don't need to go and then look for for you know how to make it you just uh, hit r and then it comes onto your, uh, your canvas and the next one as well is so easy you, how to you can add a cycle into your canvas uh, you just hit c and then the cycle will come up so i'll change the color as well so you can have a look and see as you can see, the cycle is there by just hitting the C. I'll just move it this side as well. Then you can resize it uh, how you want it, and then maybe um, place it onto a text or something that you want to cover. So I will do that again. I'll click onto the canvas, and then I'll hit C, and then that uh, cycle pops up again. Then you just play with it how you want it. As you can see, it's just so easy like that. So that's the other tip that you uh, you can do using Canva and then the next one is uh, adding text onto your uh, canvas so as you can see text and underline so what you're going to do you're going to uh, put a text in here and then uh, underline that text so to put a text in the easiest way instead of going onto the toolbar this side and find text you just click on the canvas and make sure it's highlighted then you hit T on your keyboard and then the text will come up on the on your canvas and then you can move your text however you want it uh, um, so sort of resize it however you want you know it's just up to you how uh, you and you can even position it in the middle then the other thing on this one is you can even uh, i'll show you how to um, underline a text so we've got a text here and what you want to underline um, uh, this text what you will do i uh, will click on the text and then um, just click on the text, uh, make sure it's highlighted there, and then hit Command and U. Um, Command and U if you are using Mac, and if you are using um, Microsoft or Windows, I think it's Control U. See, the text has been highlighted. So that's how you do it, guys. And then the next one, if um, if you want to bold a text and or even italize it, so you you can do that as well quickly as well with, uh, with Canva shortcuts. Uh, so this is the tip here. Uh, I've got this text here, love and joy. And then uh, all I want is to uh, bold this text. So what I will do, I am going to select uh, the text as you can see. 
and then I'm going to hit Command and B. So Command and B. See that text is now bold, as you can see. Um, then if you want to go back to the original, you press again, Command and B again, then it, it changes back. Uh, so if you want to utilize this text as well, so the same way you go to Command and then you hit I, the letter I as well, Control I or Command I if you are using Mac. So I'm using Command I. Now, as you can see, the text is now utilized um, now. That's another tip there, a shortcut. And then the next one is how to uh, add bullets or numbers uh, to your text. Uh, let's say you are um, uh, working on maybe your infographics and uh, you want to put the bullets there. Yeah or the numbers, you know, to just to list the points that you want to, or you want people to, uh, you know, to learn from you or to have access to. So you click on the text that you are um, working on, the first text at the top, the one you start with, make sure it's um, it's highlighted as well. And then you come up to the top uh, toolbar there. So you'll see the, dot, uh, the list of dots here. So if you click once on it, it will give you the, the, um, uh, the dot, the bullet, rather, uh, it will give you the bullet. And then if you click on it again, it gives you the number. Uh, so then you can um, and then go to um, um, to the end of that. And then to get to the second one, you just hit um, um, enter and then it start listing your, your bullet points or your number uh, points. So that's how you do it, guys. It's so easy and quick as well. And then number six is how you can filter uh, free elements from pro elements. So this one is uh, it's for mainly for those who are using a free account. Uh, so if you are using a pro account, you have access to all the, the tools and the elements and the photos, music, all for free. But if you've got a free account, uh, you can only use the free um, uh, the free uh, photos or the free elements only. So this is for you guys who are using the free free account. So I will show you how you can do that. Let's say I want to select um, I want to select an element. So I'll come up to the left toolbar. I click on elements and then type the um, you know the element that you want. Let's say I'll say stars maybe. Um, and then let's see what comes out of the stars. So we've got stars here. They all come different stars here. So if you, if I hover, you see here it says free, and then this one it says pro. Uh, so I can use all them because I'm using my uh, pro account. So, but for you, if you are using a free account, all you need to do, you come up here on the search bar. There's some three dots there, and then uh, you come up it opens a, another template there. So you can um, select everything how you want it. So you can get only the stars that are in square format or horizontal or vertical or you want the static ones or the animated so you select that uh, but then here at the bottom it says um, free or pro so if you select free and then apply all of them all of these uh, stars so these elements will be free elements um, so all of them they will be free so you don't need to pay anything at all uh, so that's how you do it. Uh, that's how you can select your your paid, uh, your free from paid ones. Uh, that's it. And then hopefully you can uh, try Canva for Pro as well. If you want to try Canva for Pro, I'll put up a, a, a link down below on the on the uh, notes uh, where I've got a link where you, you can use and try Canva for thirty days. Canva Pro for thirty days, where you'll have access to all of these. Uh, elements and photos and everything music so you will be able to do that for free so if you want to try that uh, just give it a go and let me know how how you get on and what you think about it okay let's move on um the next one is how you can uh have a text um so you've seen some um posts or some designs with a cafed text so today is your day you're going to learn how to do that and it's easy and you can still do it if you've got a free account as well so i'm on this canvas here so I've got my website, this one here, you can visit if you like. I've got some great stuff there, some of the free stuff that you, you can, um, you know, learn a lot from and, and uh, you know, empower yourself. So just visit and check it out and um, say hi when you're there. So what you do here to cover text is quite easy. You just go onto that text, you click on it, make sure it's highlighted. Then you go to effects at the top toolbar, you go to effects there. So once you hit on that, it brings out this other 
uh, this other dialog box here on the side or another toolbar uh, which has got some different stuff there styles but you want to go to the bottom the last one there it says curve so if i hit on that you see the text is now curved I'll, I'll just move it up a little bit the text is curved as you can see and now um, you can play with this to how you want it i see this one is way too curved uh, so i can move it down a little bit and make it like that or i can move all the way there if i want it like that uh, that would be nice <laughs> uh, but uh, you can go all the way to the other side as well and make it um, this way as well and then uh, let's move it down a bit so we can see more uh, you can yeah you can go that or you can uh, you can design something and then curve it whether it's your logo or what so that's the great thing about it uh, so that's how you do it you can curve your text in canva and then number eight is how you can uh, duplicate the page so if i want to duplicate this page everything in this page not an element uh, all of it so all i need to do is easy so um, i've selected this um, canvas and then up here as you can see uh, is where you can add a page or just a, a separate page or you can uh, delete this page or you can duplicate the page so i just click once there and then that's it it's done it's duplicated that page you see the here is a page that we're working on and then this is the duplicated page it is still the same nothing uh, has changed on that so that's how you do it so easy and then uh, the last one <laughs> Last but not least, uh, we've got the, the elements, all different elements there. So what we're going to do is uh, select all the elements, how we can select all these elements and maybe move them to a different uh, canvas. So I've got a plain canvas here that I want you guys to see. So I need to select all of um, the, the, the elements in there. So I, I highlight the entire canvas. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit Command or Control if you are using uh, um, Windows. So I'm going to use command and A, command and A. You can see they're all highlighted, all of them. So what I'll do now, I'm going to click on them and then drag to where I want to put them. So I'm going to put them into this next one at the bottom. Voila, as you can see, it's all, everything is there. So you can, it should be in the same area, but you can always make sure that everything is in line to how you want it. But that's how you do it. And um, if you want to go back to the previous uh, design, you can hit the the undo there and then it will go back to where it was there as you can see so that's another tip as well and then uh, finally i'm going to show you how uh, you can have some access to more photos in canva canva is really really great if you are using a free account as well you've got access to tens and thousands of photos so what you do is you go onto the left toolbar here and then you can see here i've already opened uh, pixel and uh, pixabay but if you don't have them on your site all you need to do is go to more here click on more if you click on more you see they will come up here uh, if you haven't activated them yet so you just need to click on one of them or each of them so that they can come up uh, and appear here so i'll click on pixabay there i'll pixel and then pixabay here so you click on that it opens all these photos all these photos are free with canva uh, with your canva account so you can then um, you know choose any photo that you want to or use it for your design let's choose one photo here um, um, I'm on this. I'll click on this one here so I can put this photo on it. I'll just click on it and then drag it and leave it into there. As you can see, it's inside there. If I want to position it properly in the middle, I'll just double click on it and then move it to the side until this guy is in the middle there. And then you do the same uh, for for another one. Um, uh, let's choose um, now. Let's choose from uh, Pixabay uh, so that you can see also that it works. They're all free uh, photos that you should be getting uh, when you sign up for an account. Um, I'll click onto that one and then drag it uh, to the last one there. I'll double click so I can position this photo there in the middle. And that's it. Then let's pick up one more. Let's see what can we pick. Anything. <laughs> uh okay let's pick that one we'll be on to there so and that's it that's how that's the bonus uh that i've shown you guys uh there's more um shortcuts and tips that you uh, you can see on and use in canva but i thought these ones uh will be the main ones that can get you going uh, if you want more information on the rest uh, let me know guys and i'll do a full video on that uh, but otherwise i've got a video that is called canva for beginners 
it's got everything there as well that you can uh, you can benefit from. I'll put the link up here. Uh, it's called Canva for Beginners. And then don't forget to check out the other videos. And I'll link all the videos that I, I, I've got that I think will be helpful for you with Canva on the um, uh, down below. I'll link them below there so you can uh, also check them out and uh, enjoy. I hope you have uh, learned something from this video guys if you have please give it a thumbs up and uh, it helps uh, get the video up there with the youtube algorithm guys i appreciate that and once again if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that notification bell after you have clicked onto the subscribe button and then you get notified every time i post a new video if you've got any questions again guys i leave uh, the comments below and uh, i will make sure i get back to you or otherwise just check me on my social media and uh, or the website as you can see there and uh, make sure you say hi while you're there then um, you know we can uh, catch up and maybe collaborate i appreciate your time and uh, yeah you take care guys i'll talk to you in the next one bye <music>